Jacob Graneman, who is a reporter. You'll recognize him from ClarkCountyToday.com. You're stuck at home as most of us are, but you're stuck at home for a little bit of a different reason than a lot of us are. You think you might actually have this thing that's going around. Talk a little bit about some of the symptoms you're experiencing that that make you think you might be dealing with COVID-19. Yeah, so it's kind of basic. Don't want to be a hypochondriac. So I started uh, kind of having like a dry cough, like a lot of people were mentioning about a week ago. And so um, that was right about when people were starting to kind of stay home anyways. And so I stayed home, stayed home over the weekend and, and still home and haven't gone out and done any errands. My family's been awesome and has been able to, to bring my wife and I some groceries. But basically, yeah, I just kind of began to feel that sort of tightness in my chest, uh, had the dry cough, just didn't really feel sick. Um, and then over the weekend, kind of got a headache and was sleeping a lot and starting to feel not so great. Um, and so I was like, okay, I think this might be something. Um, and so it kind of progressed. And, uh, yesterday I was like, went to smell a candle, couldn't smell the candle and my nose wasn't stuffy. I was like, that's really weird. Um, and then went to go eat dinner and couldn't really taste anything. Like that's also really weird. And so I spoke with, uh, my, my healthcare provider today and to the advice nurse and kind of gave them my symptoms and, uh, basically, they're like, yeah, you know, you're doing the right thing. You need to keep staying home with those symptoms. Uh, they're all kind of in line with things that might be the virus or, I mean, it could also just still be the flu or a cold. Um, but either way, as a precautionary measure, we recommend that you stay home. And so that's kind of in a nutshell what it's been. Um, like I said, it's been about a week now. So still just uh, resting and uh, getting better. I know you said your wife had, had had some of the same symptoms. Has she lost her sense of taste and smell as well? Not really. Um, she kind of had like, uh, she actually had like a stuffy nose. I think it, cause we're both also have seasonal allergies. So that those kind of get lumped into the mix. Um, but yeah, we both have a dry cough and both have the sort of the tightness in our chest, and a little bit of shortness of breath. Um, but she can still taste things pretty normally. Um, and I can still taste some things. I've been eating a lot of oranges because <laughs> I can taste oranges, <laughs> um, but not like most, you know, other bland or food. It, it's you can't really taste it. And she, hers is kind of muted as well. Yeah. Now, you had mentioned that, that that was kind of the scary thing when you think about it. The fact that, you know, you have these symptoms, you've got the tightness in the chest, you've got, you know, a little bit of achy, a little bit of headache, a little bit sleepy, but not terrible like you've, you've had you right. know, sicknesses that are worse than this just in the past year I remember right. a while back you were you were laid out for almost a week but at the same time it kind of makes you go wow maybe that's why this is spreading so much because people don't have serious cases of this yeah and I think that was the thing that sort of stood out to me um is that it it was it was like way less um aggressive than other times I had gotten sick in my life. Uh, but at the same time, the part, the, the reason that made me suspicious and that made me, you know, say, okay, I need to stay home is because it was so different. I remember talking to a couple people over the phone saying, you know, like I, with the, the dry cough and the, the tightness in my chest, hadn't really ever experienced that while I still felt good. You know, I usually, that usually came with, you know, I was nauseous or I had a headache at other times in my life when I had been sick. So that was kind of odd, and that was kind of what led me to, to ask the, the advice nurse some questions, um, and they, they kind of confirmed that, yeah, that, that's kind of in line with a lot of the symptoms that, you know, a younger person of your age would, ex would experience if they had the virus, and so um, that that's kind of was led to the suspicion. I mean, you've got some, you know, symptoms that I think are closer in line with a lot of people. I mean, I know... I, I think we all are a little bit hypochondriac right now. I've had this little tickle in my chest probably two weeks now, a little longer than two weeks. And, you know, last couple of days, it's gotten a little bit worse. And then it gets better and kind of goes away. And then it'll kind of come back. And you keep thinking, you know, am I, is this some, am I fighting it? Or right. do I, you know, because I haven't had a fever, no headache, no achiness, no fatigue, none of the other symptoms. It's only been this, but we're all kind of in that, that part right you know yeah where every you know you've seen the memes that go around like every time you cough it's like is it me yeah. am i dealing with it now you know but it also i think is 
ex- explains a little bit of why they're saying, hey, if you feel like you might have this, or sometimes even if you don't, it's just smart to stay home as much as possible. And if you do go out, make sure you've, you've washed your hands, make sure that you don't cut your face because you know that's what they're saying is so scary about this virus is it can be asymptomatic or very light symptoms for a lot of folks. And so you know, maybe that's what I'm experiencing. Maybe that's what a lot of folks are experiencing. Right. You know, it is allergy season too. It's and true. I, I, last I will, I will mention that's one of the things that they asked me when I, when I, I spoke to um, the advice nurse was, do you have seasonal allergies? I'm like, yeah, I do. Um, because that's, a, you know, it can, it can be added in there. It can just be that. And some people might think, oh my gosh. And, and that's why I waited like a week. Cause um, I usually do get allergies in the springtime. And so I waited and it, like I said, it, there were a lot of the things that were different. And so that's why I spoke to them and they said, yeah, it's good that you, we appreciate that you're calling or appreciate that you're, you're talking to us. Um, so yeah. Out of curiosity, how long did you have to wait on hold to talk to somebody? Uh, it was actually instantaneous that I was able to talk to somebody. Um, and that was, uh, not the advice nurse. That was just a, like a representative of my healthcare provider who just kind of took some notes and information to then pass to the advice nurse. So that was instantaneous. And then I was on hold for probably 10 or 15 minutes, um, before I actually spoke to the, the, um, the RN, the the advice nurse, um, and she already had that information. So the conversation was, uh, gotten to like her asking questions pretty quickly, so that was that was good. Um, uh, she was very helpful in that regard. And yeah, I think at this point, they, they kind of got that down to a science. Yeah, so for sure. To, to wrap up here, and, and we're glad that you guys are doing doing the right thing, staying home, getting rest, getting better, and you know, hopefully, most of the folks who maybe have to deal with this, if this is what it is, are doing the same thing. But just lastly, Jacob, kind of give folks your advice from what you've experienced of, of what you'd like to see. Uh, other folks may be in the same boat doing. Yeah, well, I mean, I think there's just three basic things. The first thing uh, was what the healthcare provider told me, um, which I actually hadn't heard specifically from anyone else, so it was really helpful, was uh, they typically want you to be symptom-free for 72 hours or three days before you, you know, start doing anything that's a little bit more normal as far as going out. Um, and so that was really helpful to know. Um, so definitely, uh, I would advise that and, and staying home. The other thing is uh, that they told me is, you know, you have to get a lot of rest. And I'm somebody who likes to keep doing things and, you know, you know, all just sleep like normal. But I've noticed, you know, I need to take a nap, which it, maybe it's dumb, maybe it's cliche, but it is helpful. I, I feel a lot better when I do that. And I've been doing that the last couple of days. Um, and so I, th- I think that that's really helpful. And then the other thing, that I've been, you know, uh, battling with and that I, I think everyone could be encouraged in is don't be fearful. Mm-hmm. Don't be, um, motivated out of fear. Um, there have been moments, um, in the last week where I was like, Oh my gosh, should I ask anybody? Should I ask any questions? Should I say anything? Cause I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be motivated out of fear. And I kept waiting because I felt like it was the right thing to do. And then even now with having asked those questions and, you know, having some more confirmation, as much as you can from just looking at symptoms of the possibility um, it's it, it still don't want to be motivated out of fear. You want to be motivated out of uh, sound reasoning and, and, and just remain calm as cliche as that sounds too. Um, I think it's really important to have, uh, uh, you know, a level head because, you know, heightened emotions, lowered reasoning and vice versa. So I want to don't make emotional decisions or fearful decisions, but just making decisions out of uh, reasoning and, and also being kind to everyone, because I know a lot of people have differing opinions on this. I think that's really important is to respect other people's opinions, but also when we're sharing those opinions, not to be respectful of one another and to be kind to one another, um, because I think that just, it'll help all of us. It'll help the human race, if you will, you know, get through this. So that's kind of all I have to say. Jacob, thank you so much. And for all the work that you're doing, appreciate it and get well. All right. Will do. Thanks.